While some viewers may have hypothesized that Amber Heard was still calling one of her ex Johnny Depp's LA penthouse his home, that doesn't seem to be the case. In fact, during the recent and heavily publicized defamation trial, Amber revealed in her current home is actually in Yucca Valley, California. This unexpected location is a quiet town in the Mojave Desert, 120 miles from Los Angeles, and not where celebrities usually call home. While she keeps her whereabouts quite private, all signs point to this 2,457 square foot property, a natural looking home that blends with its surroundings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Amber Heard is an actress who has appeared in a number of television series and big budget movies, probably best known for her role as Mira in Aquaman. But now after the outcome of the highly publicized and intense defamation trial between Amber and ex-husband John Depp, viewers have come to know her for all the wrong reasons. With the amount of bad press Amber has gone through recently as a result, it's no doubt that she would retreat away from Hollywood to her desert getaway. We'll check out her Yucca Valley home as well as the Los Angeles penthouse complex Amber once lived in that was actually Johnny's and was brought up in the trial quite often. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're checking out the homes of Amber Heard. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. With Amber and her ex Johnny's former dwellings being a major focus in their court battles, viewers definitely became curious as to where Amber is actually living these days. Well, during the actress's testimony after confirming her full name, Amber revealed to all that she currently lives in Yucca Valley, California. While it may be an unexpected location for a celebrity, looking at Amber's Instagram, we can definitely see that she's posted photos at her desert getaway home. She may have lived in lavish homes while married to Johnny Depp, but her property these days is much more remote than Hollywood. Yucca Valley is a town in California's Mojave Desert, about 120 miles from Los Angeles or a two hour drive. Her home is also a five minute drive to the Hawks Landing Golf Club. Her desert home was built in 2015 and research shows that a mysterious trust linked to Amber bought this property in 2019 in a quiet deal for $570,000. Considering the home was bought before the pandemic, it's safe to say that the price tag has since increased. Despite buying the home then, it appears that Amber didn't move into the home until earlier this year. With nearly six acres of land all to herself, it's safe to say this is the spot where Amber should get the most privacy and be able to get away from the public eye. Yucca Valley is located deep in California's San Bernardino County with a population of 20,000 people, while the nearest major destination is Joshua Tree National Park, about 10 miles from here. Yucca Valley is also 27 miles from Palm Springs. Amber's home, which spans 2,457 square feet of space, has an aesthetic which blends in with its surrounding desert landscape. The custom estate also offers three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and an attached three car garage, which spans 1,200 square feet alone. The main living area in Amber's home boasts concrete floors, recessed lighting, high ceilings, and glass sliders opening to the patio. There's also a fireplace, TV, and rustic bar with wine cooler here. The eating kitchen, which is attached to this open style space, boasts granite counters, wooden cabinets, and designer stainless steel appliances. Should Amber be hosting guests, there's a larger dining area off to the side, boasting a long table with room for eights. The three bedrooms are dispersed throughout the home with her master suite offering direct access to the back patio. In the spa style ensuite, there are dual vanities along with a glamorous built-in soaking tub and a custom stone rainfall style shower. What might be the coolest feature of Amber's property is out on the grounds where you'll find a custom built 110 foot long bridge which leads over a shallow creek to a staircase set into the hillside behind the home. Past these steps, there's a mountainside gazebo which offers views that stretch miles over the neighborhood. Other highlights include solid iron front doors and a surround stereo system wired through the entire estate. Temperatures out in the Mojave Desert can get dangerously high in the summer, but Amber's abode is equipped with low E aluminum windows to help keep the place cool. She also has a covered porch off of the home to keep the sun's dangerous rays away. The grounds are naturally landscaped, which means it's mostly maintenance free and there aren't non-native plants that will dry out. 
A source that seems to be close to the situation claimed that Amber seeks solace at her desert home and she loves spending time in the desert. It's the one place that she can get away from everything. She's really connected with the artistic community there and feels that she experiences a true getaway. Of course, before her move out to the desert, Amber had lived in a few different locations with her ex Johnny. For instance, the penthouse where they spent most of their time. After tying the knot in February of 2015, the ex couple mainly lived in Depp's downtown LA penthouse complex, located in the Art Deco Eastern Columbia building. Originally built as a department store in 1930, this gorgeous building boasts a distinctive turquoise terracotta exterior with blue and gold trim. It was also allowed to exceed a city enforced height limit with its large clock tower that's visible from immense distances. In fact, that very clock tower is located directly above the homes of Johnny Depp. That's right, I said homes as in plural. During Depp and Heard's recent trial, it was revealed that Depp has owned five separate penthouses on the top floor of that building between the years of 2013 and 2016, all of which were allocated to different people. In one of the penthouses, Depp allowed a good friend named Isaac Baroche to stay while he and Amber lived in the unit right next door. In fact, they all shared a balcony together. To round out the other rentals, Heard's sister Whitney lived in one of them, while friends of the couple lived in another. The final suite, Depp transformed into an art studio for himself. Three of these units were directly connected to one another through doorways as blueprints for the homes would show during the trial. All five of the properties were adjacent to the building's rooftop pool and offered hardwood floors, tall ceilings with mezzanine levels, industrial looking staircases, as well as modern kitchens. In terms of the interior design, Depp's homes were said to boast colorfully decorated bohemian themed beds bedrooms, art deco bathrooms, and flourishes of color throughout. At first, this little arrangement was basically paradise as Isaac himself would attest to during his testimony. Free in, in penthouses for a number of years and now you've been rent free ever since in suites. But then on May 21st of 2016, things went off the rails. This is the night that Depp allegedly hit Heard in the face with his phone. When Isaac arrived on the scene later, he admitted to seeing shards of broken glass in the hallway and spilled wine. The next day, he says that Heard had changed all the locks in the penthouses that her friends and family used. So, properties one, three, and five. I never saw or witnessed. I didn't ask you that. I said, you don't know whether he has committed domestic violence or abuse on Amber Heard. Isn't that correct? That's correct. I did okay. not witness any physical right. violence. That same year is when divorce proceedings began and Amber demanded that Depp allow her and her family members to continue to live in his three penthouse apartments, rent free. Ultimately, however, Amber would withdraw her request for spousal support. Then in September of 2016, Depp put all five units up for sale. Well, now that we've looked at Amber Heard's desert getaway where she's currently living far away from it all, that's going to wrap up this video. After seeing the spot that she calls home as well as a bit about the notorious LA penthouses she formerly lived at, what did you guys think? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!